Hello everybody, and I'm back. Uh, remember to like and subscribe all my videos. I hope you like all my videos so far. I'll be making more later on probably this week. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to be showing you one of my other decks today. Remember I have 10, so I don't know how many I've done so far. But this is card my XYZ, XYZ deck. Um, slash Synchro. So it's an XYZ deck pretty much slash Synchro because it needed more beat stick power. It's able to summon level 3 and level 4 monsters. Uh, level 3 is more than level 4s, but any level 3 pretty much you can summon. Um, any basic level 3 for that matter. Level 4s it can pre it can summon Shockmaster second turn. Uh, it just depends on how you play the deck, and you can tweak some things probably to make it better even. I don't know. It's your preference. This is how I like running it. So let's start off first. One, Moshmulan for defensive power. Two, Zubaba Knights. Zubaba Knight, awesome. Destroys your face down defense monster. Three, Marauding Captains. So we do have the Marauding Wall. Remember, I like kind of going defensive on some of my stuff. Two Trident Warriors. If I had some money, I would replace this with Red Rose Warrior. Um, where, is she, where is she called? Oh, Rose Warrior of Revenge. I already placed it with this card. Uh, I have one in my. I have two. One's in my synchro deck. Uh, this one I just need to replace. But I use the Nordic Beast. It works fine with Gozaboro. One Breaker. Three Feedback Warriors. I may take one out and replace it with one of my older cards, which is Keyman or Blade Knight. Um, but he works pretty good. I've been, I've been testing three out. I don't know how it's going to work yet. <laughs> One card that I think is sexy and honestly in this deck works and it's searchable because of Warrior of the Wasteland. Injection Fairy Lily. Yes, it's a sacrifice 2,000 life points, but you don't take that many hits in this deck if you summon Wind Up Zen Men's. You're able to do other shenanigans. So you have a defense and then you go next turn you go on the offense. What are they going to do? Two goes Boro. That's it works very nicely in this deck, so we can get level 4s and Synchro. One Swordmaster is one of our tuners. One, remember, if you remember, I had a core Bestion thing before in the uh, Horus deck, in the Blue Eyes deck, excuse me. We'll have another one, Core Magger Ma Mirror Berserker. Reveal one, very good card. Think about it if you run war a lot of Warriors. You reveal one Warrior, and you get to, if you destroy a monster, you get to attack again. So you can attack and then slash for 2,000 right to the face. Rose Warrior of Revenge, awesome tuner. Warrior Wasteland ready, able to search. Uh, one of the feedbacks got replaced. The reason we won three is because Sand Gang got banned, so I'm, I'm playing with that. But three seems to work very well. Two Gravekeeper Spies. The reason I don't want three, or just in case I never see, I never have since I've done this deck. I've never drawn into two. It's about a 44 card deck though. Two Shine Knights. If you don't have a good hand, just put this down and you'll get a level four, then exceed level fours. Magic cards. Three Burden of the Mighties. Works very well with this deck. Stops big monsters. Big monsters are the problem. Exceed monsters we can do because we have Compulse and Zen Men's. But big monsters we just want to stop and make them little. One Heavy Storm. Two Return of the Warriors. Works very well because we need to return our warriors. It's mostly spellcasters in this deck and warriors. One monster, one swords for stall, one dark hole, one rota, shiny rota, two MSTs, one book, the moon is out, and one pot of ass. Oh, excuse me, Pot of Avarice. Does look like Pot of Ass, don't it? Um, so we can reuse our stuff and draw two. Traps. One bottomless. You keep going down and down and down. It's bottomless down there. One mirror force. Two compulse. One magical cylinders. And one called haunted. Because we want you to bring those monsters back to we so we can seed and synchro. Uh, but believe me, injection fairly really 
Jackson Fairy Lily actually works in this deck pretty well. And then you you can use his effect and exceed. One Shockmaster, he comes out a lot. He actually does come out a lot. One Colossal Fighter. I do run Scrap Dragon and Stardust in here sometimes. I've been playing around with the extra decks always. One Daijin. String Maestro. One Utopia. One Book of Moon on Wheels, which it's pretty much a Book of Moon on Wheels because you can attack you can book them and then attack them. One heroic champion. One scrap. One Gaia the Swift Knight. Gaia Force of Earth, excuse me. One Melody Dingen. The tuba player. One guitar player, another guitar. Just in case I may take it and replace it with something else. One Temp Tempo. Two Zen Men's, believe me, you need two. And one Leviathan. One Leviathan, number 17 Leviathan Dragon. So that's the deck. Um, it's an out of the ordinary deck that actually works amazingly well because it's unexpected and nobody expects. It's always themed decks, Fire Fist, Water, Spell Books. When this pops up, they're like, what the heck type of deck is this? And they're like, ah, da, da, it's so bad. And then they'll fight it and it'll beat them. <laughs> Sometimes it does, believe me, because <laughs> of the burden of the mighties. Um, but just test the deck out. I never like trying it, things out on Dual Network. Not with the pool thing they're going on right now. I don't like it. But try this deck out. Guys, suggest good suggestions. Please let me know. Um, please don't hate my preference in the deck. And always, like always, like always, I said it twice. Remember to like and subscribe. And thank you very much. And have a nice day, everybody.